Hello everyone, this is Jeff from Talflator Mouse. Today we're, I'm going to show you a homemade bolo round that I constructed. I used two hand cast lead discs made from uh, bird shot that I melted down and a, and a cable from a uh, one of those self retracting keychains. It was the smallest cable I could find. And I was able to stuff all this into the tiny shot cup of a 12 gauge shell. Let's see what it does. And we'll be shooting this homemade bolo round at this foam head with safety glasses and this hard hat. This, the story about the hard hat, I, I worked at an ethanol plant for a, about six months and I had to wear this hard hat. And I hated the job. It was, a, it was the worst job I ever had. So I have a particular uh, disdain for this hard hat. Now Matt is using a Mossberg 590 shotgun. Uh, the camera next to him is recording at 1200 frames per second and the camera that I'm also holding alongside this one is filming at 600 frames per second. Oh. Now I only made one of these bolo rounds so I only had one chance to get the shot right. And that includes you know the shooter hitting the target but also my adjusting the cameras with I use all manual adjustments when I set these up and I don't always get it right you know it takes a little trial and error and uh, it's it is nice having two of these high-speed cameras to capture the footage so I can get one at you know say 600 frames per second the other at 1200 frames per second we'll slow it down a little bit more so you can see what's going on uh, the disc on the left just barely missed hitting the helmet and the disc on the right hit it uh, snapping the cable in the process and the lead disc continued out the other side of the helmet at a pretty high velocity still I think it's easy to overestimate the strength of even a cable on on some kind of a round like this it just the impact is so fierce that it just rips it apart now here you can see the mark left by the cable. It wasn't uh, that damaging. It didn't slice into it like we had hoped it would. Uh, but you see the nice 55 caliber holes right through that helmet. Did a pretty good number on it. In retrospect, I think shooting at a block of clay would have been better, but we had already blown up all the clay, so we decided to shoot this head instead. Anyway, thanks for watching. Okay, ready. Oh!